Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Ryan here once again with Michigan Storm Chasers. Going to have a update regarding our potential severe weather threats this week, in particular Wednesday and Thursday. But I do want to kind of recap a little bit about the pattern we're coming up into. If you missed our last video titled Summer is Coming, this would be kind of a surprise to you. We also mentioned it yesterday on our weekly live stream uh, on Facebook and YouTube. So just want to hop on here, give a quick recap for those of you who are not familiar, and then dive in to uh, some new data and stuff we're going to look at for Thursday in particular, but also Wednesday uh, as well. So the overall pattern is going to set up a little bit like a summer-like pattern, and that's to be expected. We're in June now, all right? So looking at our upper-level wind charts here are about 20,000 feet in the atmosphere. We're going to notice a few things here as this moves into mid-June, past in particular Wednesday of this week, June 12th and onward. We're going to see the jet stream ships north here into North America, these purple, bluish colors, and these black lines there. That is your jet stream. And below the jet stream is going to allow, there's no real flow here, it's going to allow a lot of warm, moist air to fill up into the United States here. Once that interacts with this jet stream, the combination can spark severe weather, but a little bit different way than what, we, well, than what we're kind of experiencing. So if we look back into uh, February, March, April, May, We've been getting these low pressure systems, which have warm fronts and cold fronts, which can trigger these storms. In this pattern, we're not going to really see too many, if any at all, low pressure systems. We're going to be looking for kinks, so to speak, in these uh, waves up here, in these black lines. Ripples in what we call short waves can spark uh, showers, storms, precip chances in general, that when they interact with the wind shear here, with the jet stream, and also with that warm, moist air coming up to the uh, from the Gulf of Mexico, it can spark showers and storms in a typical summertime pattern. So we call this a ridge, and this ridge is going to be around for a while. So that's going to allow, number one, warm, moist air to penetrate north into the USA here. But also the jet stream is going to be favorable uh, here in Michigan for severe weather. But again, only when we get those kinks in the short waves and predicting when those happen or if they happen is pretty much impossible on a long term basis. So we are going to see our first ripple, so to speak, coming in on the Thursday time frame, switching over here uh, to the model of overlapping wind shear and instability. We're going to see the coloration here of the greens, yellows, and especially orange and reds here, uh, indicating that here's Wednesday, for example, the UP of Michigan does get in on some of the environment up there, which could support severe weather. Pardon me while I uh, mess with the slider here. There we go. Here's Wednesday once again. Uh, up here in the UP, Wisconsin, those areas would need to be on alert there for potential severe weather come Wednesday evening. We'll watch that. Should be a mainly a large hail event, but Thursday is the day we're going to watch as a more substantial shortwave uh, does look to be moving through the area here. Here is our Thursday time frame here. Notice how we have the coloration here across Michigan. With that being said, though, the Wednesday outlook does include the Western UP in a marginal risk level one out of five. And again, that'd be more so for a hail concern, more so afternoon, evening time frame on Wednesday, but also the main concern is going to be Thursday. We have a slight risk already in place here from the SPC for a pretty big portion, a pretty big population size here at Michigan, all the way from Flint over toward Detroit, Adrian, back over toward Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo areas up to Mount Pleasant. And again, this is just your slight risk. We're going to have to have a marginal around this. So very likely we're going to see extend north and probably further east as well. So a big chunk of Michigan going to be probably within a severe risk come Wednesday. Now hazards and stuff like that, still a bit too far out to nail down specifics, but I do think this would lean more toward a wind and hail event over a tornadic risk just because uh, we're going to have to have a lot of things come together once again to get tornadoes. But again, I'm going to defer to get a final forecast and specifics until we get closer, probably that Tuesday night, Wednesday morning time frame. we locking down our hazards and stuff like that, as well as timing. But overall timing with Thursday does, again, appear to be afternoon, evening here. So it sh doesn't look to be an overnight event uh, at this point in time. That could change. Uh, but again, just keep your eye out for Thursday and also Wednesday if you live up there in the western UP uh, for potential 
potential storms as the environment here does support uh, wind shear overlap with instability. With that short wave coming in, it may spark showers and storms, which could be on the stronger side or even perhaps severe uh, here in the state of Michigan. So stay tuned to the forecast. We'll keep you guys updated, not here, not, not only here on YouTube with daily videos pumping out with updates, but also on our Facebook and Twitter pages. We'll be posting text and picture updates, stuff like that between now and Wednesday and what Thursday as well. So stay tuned to the pages here. We've got you guys covered. And of course, we'll be chasing this and live streaming as needed. So stay tuned to our page, as well as the SPC and your local NWS offices for new information regarding this potential two-day stretch of severe weather here in the state of Michigan.